electricity fire right now.
must be Sam Bridges. That one-man expedition team? We may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the Great Deliverer, the BT Buster, the terrorist, uh, stopper. I'm still working on that last one. <clears throat> well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Whoa, incredible. This will be a huge help. Thanks. You're not gonna even recognize the way station when we're through. part of the UCA for real. We've been literally marooned on an island for way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is gonna take some work, but I'm feeling revved up and ready to go like never before. We won't let our country down. Thanks, Sam. And good luck out there. Not that you need it. You're gonna hit the West Coast before you know it. Good work, Sam. Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Now would be a damn good time to do it, too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Info still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident, and we've got injured in need of assistance. Check the delivery terminal for details. Good work. New That's armor for your shoulders and legs. The downside is that you won't be able to carry cargo on top of it. You'll have to weigh the pros and cons. Remember, Sam, when the clock's ticking, speed is what matters most of all. Review your gear and bring only what you need to make it to your destination as fast as possible.
weapons restrictions lifted. Heads up, Sam. Looks like you've tripped an intrusion sensor. To be clear, these sensors react to you, not to your cargo. Be careful. Trouble may be on the way.
Sam Porter Bridges. stops to make before Mountain Knot City, but this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Higgs and his people came. They finally reached Edgenoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. 
And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach.
Sam, I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire. To start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose. A fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the President himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal.
Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from.
evaluation. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would have figured that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right. Enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Knot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city? That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Chiral Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One, went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. 
might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lochner left Bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochner around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. Good work.